Mark, the Little Road Mr. TV and the Box Room Guitar Center. And today I just wanted to show you something. I don't know if you've ever heard of uh, the uh, Amplifier Acquisition Syndrome, also known as ASS, uh, where people just get too many amplifiers and, and, uh, and buy them. Well, yesterday we went on a mission. I was on Craigslist in the morning. And I saw this amplifier, the Gallian Kruger, and you know, I did an, uh, it, a little review on this amplifier, the Gallian Kruger, and I did know Bob Gallian, he's a nice guy. And these amplifiers were so interesting in the history of rock and roll that I went ahead and bought this thing. And uh, we went up into the mountains where this guy met us at a crossroads at a dirt road, and uh, we picked it up. And the interesting thing about these is that this is actually a 100 watt amplifier. It's very, very loud. And this particular one is uh, got a couple of issues with it. We're going to take it in and get it repaired. But I think it's worthy of multiple uh, reviews because what we're going to do, this amplifier right here uh, has the dirty channel working very well. In other words, if I wanted to play a blues riff, It'll do that really well, and if I put a little bit of gain onto it, it just gets loud. This thing also has a built-in echo chamber and a chorus, so that I'm going to take the uh, echo off. But right now the clean channel is uh, not working. But one of the things that's very interesting, I know there are a lot of Rush fans out there in the world, they've sold billions of records, and Alex, the lead guitar player of Rush, used one of these. I've got a picture here, I'll show it to you right now. Um, Jerry Garcia, and one of the greatest blues guitar players of the century, Gary Moore, used three of these live. Also, uh, David Gilmore from Pink Floyd used these and um, many, many artists. I'll, I'll have a little bit of an array on this. So they're very interesting. It has two six inch speakers and it's actually a stereo amplifier. Each part of this amplifier is two 50 watt amplifiers. So when the chorus comes on or the echo, the, uh, the echo is actually coming out of the other side. So it's also, for its time, it came out in about 1987, had the ability to have a foot switch like this for channel switching and effects. It had a line output so you can run it into lots of other amplifiers. It has two uh, speaker extension cabinets and we'll show the back panel of it so you can see those. And you can plug a guitar, uh, I mean a microphone cable right into it so you get a low impedance uh, input to go into your sound system. So this thing will run Marshall cabinets or anything. So this is a very interesting little amplifier. I'm going to take them out and use them for a while and uh, see you know what kind of use we would be able to do in a practical application. So this is Gene Thorpe, Little Red Rooster TV and the Box Room Guitar Center, signing out.